You see, I'm ready to lose. Again. I'm not even sure if we're going to be beating a single one of these liberation rights as we add more difficulty modifiers on top of increased difficulty of the enemy AI. Alright. We lost two liberation rights in a row, and uh, Unmilda is off on the surface doing who knows what. Let's get fire ourselves into hidden spenders and like Alco. Uh huh. Eh, he doesn't have anything important to say. There upon the sacred mound, you and your companions once more await the night of the stars to shine again. The plan of which you are all a part is set in motion. The commonwealth, a nation that stood almost for a thousand years, is in turmoil. If your companions return there through the liberation rites, what sort of place shall they be coming back to? Many moons pass. Oh, the... The, the uh... Chaos has started, I guess. See ya. Everyone, there's an aspect of Earthland not talked about, not talked to, about with you at length. If you're your companions, what do you see in them? Let us question hang a moment in the air. I'll tell you what I see in all of you and all of us. I see in all of us a living version of the eight scribes themselves. Yeah. And we actually have all eight people here for him saying this. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. Molten... Molten Melee. Yeah. And Bertrude. Well, at least Bertrude is a good, good, uh, good ally. She is very good at jumping into the enemy's pile. Bertrude drawing the group. <clears throat> All right, we're running out of people to challenge. All right, let's look at the planner. Yeah, the withdrawn are now gone. So, nah, nah. Is the chastity here? Can we just stomp them into the ground? Doesn't really look like it. We yeah, have only two choices. No, you have three. Sweet. Let's kick his ass. Sadly, you have to go all the way across. Do a face manly again. Funny about him puts me off. He's all this rights of his like it'll make him rich and famous. Uh huh. Go over his backstory. We'll just skip all that. I'll explain a lot of the council makers of the Commonwealth all turned out to be like him. Anyway, we ought to get some rest after today. See you in the morning. Good having a good night and take your leave. It's too late now to prepare for flight, so you arrange to depart in the morning, as per usual. Yeah, Bertrude. Yeah, there's a lot of junk in here, I agree. Uh, no collectibles yet, sadly. I think. Let's continue onward. Warren and Bertrude, Warren and Volfred. If only there was an even faster way to travel. Like, going north, because the world is a sphere. You should be able to circle all the way around. Alright. Blue Hive and Fall Flat. We'll take this, because I think we get vocations here. I'm assuming we wouldn't get it on the other one. Teaser would be looking for some junk. 
my right. deeper narrow sorrow shit. Hmm. Worth all the fuss? I only skimmed it. Indeed, all this time you come this far on faith alone. Like everything else, as far as I'm concerned, it's volume worth your while. There can be many distractions during travel, of course. The way it's copied the book with care. Huh? Yeah. I'm running on hopes and dreams. And poor hand eye coordination. Yep. Faye gets hope. And let's get rid of this option. Everybody gets plus one extra glory. The book seems to push back against you. Your sense of its hidden meanings crumbles under layers of contradiction, the missing details, and yet you feel a thorough knowledge of it now. It is more artifact than book. Its power almost solely rests with the reader, who makes time to form a certain meaning from the many passages unwritten. Yet, the glimpse of knowledge you approached just then called back at you to stop and go no further, not to press too forcefully against the outer limits of your understanding. Nevertheless, for what you recognize shall be for what you recognize shall have to be the final time. Inspiration comes to you in a flash, whether from the book or from within, even now you cannot tell. And we got the last bonus. Everybody now has plus two glory. Let's see. He looks up at you with, this, with strange eyes, a color not unlike the bindings of the book. It smells at you faintly. Well, past turns off to go about his business. He leaves you there. You realize you're clutching the Book of Rights to your chest. You manage to pull away. Yeah, of course. He surely knows something. I'm going to assume that full understanding of the book essentially is like a rite of passage to become the next voice. Alongside the conducting of the rites. But we don't care, we're not gonna be the uh, next voice. And Dravelis doesn't deserve me. Gonna glance this. Uh, okay, I think I remember this one. And now, just visit the slug shop. You know, I'm pretty sure we can't really get anything. Yeah, I know he doesn't like talking much. There ain't much to collect here. Eh, we'll just fail. See ya. Alright, commence the right. <laughs> yeah. It's an embarrassment to my kind. Yep. Has he not- he hasn't actually joined us yet, right? He's just putting it on as a uh, disguise. Yep, five Titan Stars active, so every single right we have to toggle on. Another annoying, uh, annoying modifier. And we're already just getting destroyed. I think that, let's see, we need five, right? We got four, so we need one more. Yeah, so for the final match, you actually have to have all of them on. That basically makes it impossible. 
I wonder if there's a hidden ending if you beat it on true Nightwing's mode with all the time stars active. We technically got a good ending, didn't we? It'd be interesting if if that was a uh, thing. Because it also means you only have one shot every single playthrough to actually get it. I'll, I'll look it up if it's, if it's a thing. And it would appear his ranks grow stronger. Consorting with the bog crone Bertrude, are we? How very strange that you befriended her. At any rate, your adversaries in this right shall be the chastity. Put out their flame and walk the path to liberty. All right. My, my. He got us thus. Let us indulge him. <laughs> We're getting our uh, tutorial for Bertrude. Okay. The bog crone Bertrude shows herself in form. Now I have to wonder what became of her accomplices. Of one accomplice in particular. You watch yourself around her, reader. None are sentenced into exile without sufficient cause. Yeah, you have friended Bertrude. Now where's uh, Volkred? They're partners in crime, after all. Back off immediately. You warn men to back off immediately or there will be consequences he will not appreciate at all. He stares back, but you see something in his eyes. Why, never. How dare you speak to me that way, you lowly, crippled, ragged little churl. I have many friends who can make your life... Like... So very, very worse. Oh, this is so uncivilized, I have to say. So very disappointing. Anyway, I ought to go check on my wonderful colleagues. See you shortly, and good luck. Yep. Who shall stand together here this night? We have a lot of people. Bertrude. I should just go for victory rather than money, so I'll actually keep like units that are good up well, let me be fair her worth is basically like she's just really good at killing killing things she is absolutely horrid at scoring I think I'll bring her along and just as a uh, as a defense of unit. He's always our Teaser. best guy. It is done. All right, let's see what we can do. No mercy. Begin. Your adversary's pyre is the first to falter. So it is. Twenty-five gold. I wonder shall the night winds press their luck. An opportunity. Mm. 
Got him. Yes. Amazing what I can do when my party is set up with units that I'm just generally good with. Manly Tinder Scouts has such a mind for politics. Would that he focused on the rights. Catch me. And it is done. <laughs> the night wings prevail. Tizo and Bertrude are definitely two of our best guys for scoring. The right is complete. How could this happen to me? <laughs> There we go. Now he will not remember anything. Yeah, I need, like... I need two good units that are just good just dashing. Bertrand does a good job with it. With the, uh... This thing. Basically making it so she doesn't get banished permanently. But Bertrude is going to be used a decent amount, I think. The stars Although we also have to worry about uh, right sickness or whatever it's called. <clears throat> so we can't use the same guys every single time. Not until, like, basically the end. Hmm. Regard the looming star. It's like we only got a single possible star. All right. Let's eat the worms. Somebody we should talk though. Hey, Richard. Hmm. Hmm. I haven't seen her like this before. She's barely breathing, not responding. He leans in for a closer look. When help and advance, name. Dare thee to disturb our slumber. I'm terribly sorry, Richard. I, the reader, and I, we were checking to make sure you were all right because of how we saw you there just now. And how exactly didst thou just see... It, didst thou see us there just now? Yeah. Um, well, you appeared to me dormant, or perhaps... Didst thee think that we had simply perished here perchance, crumpled over in our ancient age, a weakling barely clean to this wretched coil? No. I mean, maybe... Sorry, I... I sincerely apologize for having disturbed you, Bertrude. I know this all must be an adjustment, having to be around someone like me. Maybe the others, too. If there's anything we can do to make your stay more comfortable, we shall not yield to thy flirtations, boy. Flirtations? Wait, no, I... Know that our hearts already belong to another, boy. Thou knowest nothing of our ways, whether waking or in dream. Thus we advise the implication for thy future interactions, thus we, thus we use thee as a subject for our sorceries. However, we do appreciate thy flattery. Thine advances make us feel like a young tad once more. We were one 
we were among the most sought after of our kind within the southern box. Wisely, Edwin remained silent. Thou art free to depart now, boy. Edwin turns to leave, but know that we do appreciate thou taking time to check upon us whilst we dream, and know that our stay amongst ye has been comfortable enough thus far. Thank you, Bertrude. Thou art welcome, boy. Yeah. Despite the oddness of the exchange you witnessed, you sense that Hedwin and Bertrude gained a better understanding of each other. <laughs> Very interesting. Anyway. Yeehaw. Now we don't need to... We don't need to ram into people. We already got that out of our system in the previous playthrough. Alchemical reagents, or the presence of the eight scribes chemical reagents. All right. Yeah. It's been a while. She didn't want. She doesn't want to say anything though. Search for reagents. The bog witch Bertrude knows much of much of things growing unseen throughout the land, including things residing here within the dark waters of Shark Shoal. You may no note of thy willing assistance. Come along then, reading one. If she regrets your company in such excursions, only she could say, yet she does no such thing. She instead directs you to collect the following greetings she seeks. Greetings seem to disappear into rows and return in silence. Better you note a new talisman appear to land in the group's possessions. The Dying Flame. Okay. Gently set it aside. Maybe we can, uh, sell it. Your Forge Gucci just finished polishing the various stuff. Uh, we've seen this one. Cross the bio updated for Bertrude. Continue on our journey, and we have a mission to do. The messenger imp appears before you in the eerie stillness of the Deathless Tempest, bearing news and rumors from the other side. You learn what happened to the disturbing witch Umilda, who, who you first encountered in the flagging hands and later in the Liberation Rite where she at last prevailed. Thus did she return unto the common law, where all her hideous transgressions were forgiven and forgotten. But she laughed, invoking oaths in the name of her patronious lash. She subsequently fled into the southern bogs and has not been seen since. There she remains, doubtless plotting profane acts against the very fabric of the world. As for the exiles of her triumvirate, the withdrawn, after delivering their master, they disperse to aid her in whatever she intends on next. We shall not face them in the rights again. You thank the messenger for delivering this information? How much of it is true, you cannot know for certain. He declines her offer for a place to rest and hurries on its way. We'll stick with the, uh, with their theme. As we go to the to the Imp Arena. Sold. I don't need it. I will never be using that. So I guess we'll just collect money, considering every single right he'll be here. And he has all of his inventory all the time. So. Mence the right. We got five active. Probably in Bertrude again. A glorious eve to you as ever, O oh you exiles of the Nightwings. Mm -hmm. The eight scribes dragged you all the way into the blasphemous Isle of Kaima. Here you are to be surrounded by even more gibbering nitwits than usual. Oh, no, I the kind of like it here. The you stand against shall be the Pyre Hearts. Reduce their pyre to a smolder. Let's play some basketball. Now prepare yourselves. You again, you come to torment us? Yeah. 
He always come to torment them. It's funny. Now let us begin. Alright. Gilman. Sir Gilman. And hmm. we'll bring her along. And she can kill units pretty easily with her dash. So the choice is cast. Oh, I'm ready for them. Begin. Great start. I guess I can't bullshit, huh? The orb. Oh. oh. No. I got it. A mere attempt. Douse without passing the orb. Easy. Now to the flame. Yes. The night wings now are closer to a cheat now. That was a fast score. DMs, they come for us. What are those blasted creatures doing? This is a sacred tradition, not some boorish spectacle. Got him. In the name of Solium Myrrh. Five left. What's more like that, and we are finished here. Hanover vanished. <laughs> There we go. The night wings prevail Just again. Sneak it in. Now have a little the bit of gold. Themselves surely have taken note. This is acceptable. The right is ended. What stirs now in the hearts of all these exiles? He gets rank three. Now what, is, what can we actually get him? This question. Is eternal. Mm.
I guess we'll go like alongside here. I'd like to get the big, bigger slash AoE. If only wings could speed us on toward greater understanding. Let's see. Wind Fury. Okay. While casting an aura, panel that can trigger an aura burst that banishes nearby adversaries. Press B again after casting the aura burst. So basically, you can dash cancel it. I think. I want to try it. It might be very good. Until the next round. Now we actually just have to win the final right, right? actually send somebody home. Uh. Amethyst seems to be unwell, but I cannot sense why. How are you feeling, madame? I can hardly move my wings at all now. It's like I'm terribly exhausted all of a sudden. I see, then. Please do not exert yourself, or try. Will and Mistral motions for you to come closer. Peter, Amethyst appears rather disoriented, and more fatigued than usual, reported feeling not entirely present. Symptoms of banishment sickness. She should not soon be able to take part in light activities, I think, but under no circumstance shall she be able to conduct the upcoming rite. Now then, I ought to not keep you from the stars above. Please go and have a look at them, for all of us, I think, are anxious to depart this place. So, she got the banishment sickness this time. Alright. We gaze into the darkness, and it doesn't appear to be the final star. All right, who's at Triesta? Sure. It'll be faster to go to the next right by taking this route. Uh, gonna be fun to have old Barker again, are we, chum? It helps to know at a time so I can brush up on my graveling. Then sure as you don't know her next opponent. Uh-huh. Oh. He can make my life go real sour if he wants. Anyways, I better go pass out. Got a long few days ahead. I wish Rookie a retful evening in turn. It's too late to take flight, but tomorrow you can press on. Because yeah, we actually have Rookie around here now, so he can confront Barker. Maybe overcome his fear. You're unaccustomed to seeing Bertrude smiling, yet here she's doing just that. Ah. Oh. It's their uh, talk about their both, both of their backstories. <laughs> So we can just skip all this. I don't know if there's a faster way to skip all this, but... A button spam seems to work well enough. Is there got some surprises left in store for us, for sure. Get out of here. We got places to go. Hers to route. Leaves the conditions here are right to train the ways of Sea Dominion. And. Who can know someone here who owes him a past debt? Sure. We'll, we'll let Ruki uh, do something. Yonder Crystal seeks Sir Gilman. Alright. Let's do that real quick. Also, what's on your mind? Okay. Sir Gilman, he's got the luminous items, perfect. Now I can't remember what his challenge was. I don't think it was immensely difficult, but we'll see. jump. Oh, they got me. Jump into it. Nice. Yeah. 
Oh, you. Clever girl. That's two. One more. Oh, damn it. Thought I had it. Oh, I was hoping I could jump and go over the aura. There it is. Alright, we get Sir Gilman's thingy. We collect. Also, I noticed that Sir Gilman in the victory pose is actually standing on a on a wooden box to actually be at the height of everybody else. It's adorable. Or as a scale, Sir Gilman jumps further. I think that could be worth maxing out. Like the old favors. You follow Rookie to an inconspicuous-looking locale somewhere in the harsh formations of High Wing Cove. You soon procure something from a hidden stash. Oh, Alright, chump, you got what you came for. No funny business, just the way I like it. Go to dues, another debt repaid. 80 gold. That was worth it. Hey, Wolfred. There. You see on some sort of document. Okay. It's to talk about how he talks with the people on the outside, messenger imp, and how things are going a little bit. We know things are going bad compared to last time at least. Alright. Let's go to the slug market. We need to upgrade this item. Talk. Perfect. Take that. Thanks for the gold. Now, upgrading this I think is worth it. So. Like, 60% jump distance might allow us to just beeline and just jump right into their pyre immediately. I want to try that. It stars. Ah, uh, it's, 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 it's this part of the game. Oh boy, here we go. Our first of two duels with Orlek. The only thing that sucks is that he, I'm pretty sure he's technically, like him and his group are technically maxed out, aren't they? Raider, what lunacy is this? Don't don't ask me, you bastard. The wings are to stand against themselves this time around. This is a mutiny in violation of the sacred law. Blame Orlek. The exile whom you face, Orlek. Long ago he had his chance. And he relinquished it. No, we know the story. He simply claim it now. And I cannot preside over this nonsense. Good night. Okay. He put the doggies to sleep. Alright, let's check out let's check them out. I'm pretty sure they're all maxed out. Let's see. Nope, never mind. Not maxed out. They are decently high ranked though. And they got an imp. Well, you don't want to hold back, right? Exile him. 
Shall we try Gilman's new scale? Interesting fight. No, you don't. So got it. First score. Let's see, Let's see if we can actually uh, win this. <laughs> As Tizo Dowser Pyre. Tizo, Tizo got KO'd, but we can do it now. can't deny that. He is really good at getting those blocks off. There we go. 20 gold earned. Those drive-ins are so happy. What is that slipperiness? Oh. <laughs> We're doing good so far. Have we prevented them from earning a single point so far? score. Eat ourselves into the pyre repeatedly, and we win. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have a team who we do better with. Izo is just probably one of the best guys to use. I was slightly disappointed by the uh, jump thing. And we never really got too much of a chance for the prayer beads. Actually, no, we scored with Bertrand a few times. We got good use out of it. So we just go for... Gotta go fast. More slither speed. It shall benefit us. Oh. 
have in Ligaratus. Ligaratus, Sivatu. This affects our plan. At the freedom beckons us, so we shall once again try to set somebody free. Hopefully we will succeed this time. Oh, you, you, you are not getting out of here if I have a say about it, but we'll see. Alright, we got some dialogue. Hey, Jizo. Good talk. But for once, we are nice and close to the destination that we need to do. Need to. The destination that we need to get to. But I wonder if the Banishment Sickness is an actual thing, or if it just... Like, like it doesn't feel like it actually matters. Like, it just, it's, it's like it's at this point in the story, it's just random. And we can also try the Aura Burst on this, on this match. So, they get along because they're both equally sassy. love like the super quick flutter. Um, stop. on me. Oh, he made it easier for me. Thank you. Pretty happy, pretty happy. Water. If my luck depends on it. Because it sort of does. We gotta get our just rewards. Now, what was her item? Come on. Riestus Plume. Applying her to death in the adversary's fire. The man in the return deals damage. Second. Having out, I just want to check something real quick. All right. Yay, gets hope. And now we can actually mentor people and get them EXP. He's pretty close to getting his next thing, so I'll just mentor him. Alright, what do we get? More damage to the pyre, implode is better. More damage. Pyre.
Rookie. Hmm. I wonder if there's an optimal way to play Headwind. So I'm not really good enough to figure that shit out. Alright, can we send somebody off this time? I immediately forgot what the new item we just got does. Instantly return? The fuck does that mean? We don't have a we don't have a percentage percentage chance here. So I'm gonna alt tab out real quick and just figure this shit out. Uh, higher. Just as bloom. Let's see. I think someone at the recent game files discovered that the chance is a pure flip of a coin that doesn't increase the talisman's level. If I recall correctly, it was 50%. They really should list that in the skill ability. It makes it, it makes it basically worthless, so you'll sell it. I don't care about the additional damage. What's important is not getting uh Not getting booted back to the uh, eternal banishment after flying into the pyre. That's all I wanted. Potentially unfortunate. Lomas directs your attention toward the dark night sky. The stars are fading. Oh. Alright. So stars are still fading at the same rate, as expected. Five stars active, and next time we're gonna need six, it seems. Uh, what what do we even turn on? It's getting too hard to actually uh, compete. Congratulations, Rita. It would appear the rights are drawing to a close. Doubtless it's your the fault. Doing of that Orlek in all his bitter spite. For now, your exiles have another chance at freedom here upon the fall of Solium. So too do your adversaries, the Essence. They fought so very bravely for this moment. Whichever side prevails soon shall send one of its own into the warm embrace of civilization. Fires burn. Got Tamitha. Okay, so who do we put up? Who shall return to glory? So sometimes they are worthy, sometimes they are unworthy. How the heck is this determined? I think the one I am most willing to send off would be Sir Gilman. Take that. 
and we'll see how this works out. It is done. Oh, you piece of shit. Oh yeah, don't they cheat at a certain point? That fucking immediate swap is so damn cheap. That's another one. We've got a long way to go, though. I was trying to switch to him, but it wouldn't let me. Again. We can't win any of these. It's, it fucking sucks. They just, I think they just I think their AI is just better during these, which I guess sort of makes some sense, but it doesn't feel good. Yep. Can't win. We're just gonna get the bad ending. It's getting less, and like every single loss makes it less and less motivating to actually keep playing this. We're gonna go through it and see what happens, but it doesn't feel fun. And every single time we lose, it's, it even gets even harder because we have to turn on more difficulty modifiers. Absolved of all misdeeds, return to glory in the Commonwealth. Her adversary and all others shall remain. Maybe there is a way to do better, but I don't know. To carry out their rightful sentences. I could get past any of them. Commonwealth <laughs> fools. How fitting that traditions such as this should spring forth from a culture such as yours. They ought to have put me to the sword, but no. They, in their ignorance and in their smug superiority, deigned reason that those such as I ought to be exiled instead. Here, then, we would live in penance and learn the error of our ways. She laughs for once, though not with joy. Such utter nonsense. And now they shall receive me opened armed, a champion forged by their precious system. Yet I shall use every waking breath to bring them all to ruin. She turns to her fellow sisters of the essence and regards them with respect. Sisters, we may not be bound by blood, but ours is a stronger bond even than that. May we soar together in the stars someday, and I swear to you the hiding remnants shall survive. Farewell, sisters. A moment later she is gone, gulped within the waters of the shimmer pool, yet you hear her voice reverberate for one last time. Farewell, sisters. Tamitha earned back her freedom. Another loss. 
scribes are ever merciful. By their grace, the cycle of the rites may yet continue for a while. Like bring Tizo along probably would have been the right idea. And Until Tizo has a big aura. Well, Amatha, I knew full well I could never I could never give back to you the years you spent in exile. And I knew I could never regain your trust. But maybe now. Maybe now at least I can start to live with myself again. Oh how absurd. I might have doomed the Commonwealth, the Hiding Remnants, and Tamatha alike this night. And yet, once more, all I can think of is myself. Vraniga. I need a drink. I can drink to that. After the liberation rite, you find Pamatha drinking alone. Everyone else seems to be off doing something equivalent. You're about to leave her be when she looks up at you. That's that then, reader darling. Mission accomplished. Is that what you wish to hear? That my loyalties have all this time rested with Tamatha? You know it's not that simple. Besides, I think I've made plain my intentions from the start. I'm here because of her. She looks up at you then. But I'm still here because of you. She pauses again for a time. I'll know the reasons why we failed that, that liberation right. Were the essence simply superior to us? Perhaps, but I don't wish to know. And as you can possibly detect here, darling, I feel no joy in this outcome. But I feel as though a part of me was liberated there along with Kamatha. So, and I realize this may make little sense right now, but thanks, if nothing else, for being there to help me see this through. The ingesters toward you with their bottle. You're here. You accept the bottle, and the two of you drink in silence for a time. Nothing more needs to be said. As the hour grows very late, you excuse yourself and leave her to her thoughts. If Pamatha was ever conflicted in her intentions, you can sense that now she is fully committed to the group. He has nothing else to strive for. Then Volvert asks the groups to gather. You sense you know what news he's about to share. Everyone, must apologize bring such news at this late hour, but I feel you should, all should know as soon as possible that the context of our plan has changed. He looks about at everyone before revealing to them what the stars have revealed to you both. The stars are above or disappearing. Ah. Okay, we'll skip this because we know what happens. Uh-huh. It still prevail, sure. Whatever you say. Hmm. Hey, Gilman. Hmm. Uh, is your presence the most minimal way possible to scan the environment? Well, I have to forgive this knight's impertinence to you, Master Reader, for he is on the hunt at this time. Using his acute sense of hearing, well, it's much more acute while it's underwater, but shall have to suffice in this case, he shall track down a most elusive character. A character who has eluded this knight time and time again, and from whom this knight seeks to learn still superior evasive strategies applicable when he next may conduct the rites. Cool, does that? You have no idea to whom he's referring, Glenn. Stick it up, Worm. You're caught out. You could've, could've run your neck just now, you know. Oh, this knight has failed again. Alas, Master Ruki, once more you have outwitted this poor knight and outmaneuvered him. Please, you must reveal the secret to your speed and cunning. Take it easy, chum. You're not half bad yourself. Besides, I was getting pretty sick of running circles around all these slowpokes before you showed up while we were out at sea. Do you truly need that, Mr. Rookie? No, it cannot be, for this knight has never seen anyone as deft and fleet of foot as you. Certainly, it must be advantageous to possess our possess four feet, whilst this knight has but one, if so it may be called. And yet, we are all born with necessary means, and we all must make do. Ah, uh, look, chum, you gotta stop being so hard on yourself already. You ever thought maybe you ought to give yourself a break once in a while? Never! This knight deserves no break. Not while there is honor to be gained. He is merely a worm. One of roughly eight billion of his kind. Thus, he must strive to be remarkable and to exceed what is expected of him. 
Guess what, chum? You went and did that already. I thought you all your sea dominion types were just a bunch of meatheads who didn't care for nothing but a fight. But you've been downright decent. Maybe even made even me make a sweat a couple times out there when I thought maybe we got somebody quicker on this foot than me. Point it point I'm trying to make is it's been good having you with us. I always say it's worth having someone quick around to keep you on your toes. For a moment, you wonder if Sir Gilman is about to weep. Something the same. Rookie immediately changes the subject. Now, come on, you want to go another round or what? There's some good hiding spots out outside. I can show you how we curs get the drop on unwary passerby. It's a very, in a very honorable way. This night would be most honored, Sir Ruby. The two of them head off further to train together. You catch one, in, you catch an of the Book of Rights there in the wagon. The rights, which so stress. Which so stress trust and reliance on one's fellow exiles. The scribes likely the non division Sir Gilman and Rookie in particular as conductors of their sacred tradition. Yet perhaps theirs is the sort of kinship which they had in mind. We leave. Wait a minute. Thought I saw some, saw something different. It was my imagination. Alright. To the moonlight alcove. This plan is shite. I will say, at least playing this game gives me some time to put a buffer between now and Trails Through Daybreak, which comes out on July 5th. Which is Friday. Which I have off of work. So I'm probably going to be playing that all day. Should be fun. On your mind. I talk to you because I want to talk to you. Alright. Trial of Bertrude. We need a better item, though. There it is. Yeah, the bog crone is good, so I, I think we just need to have somebody with a big aura in our group. I think it's the one thing that we're lacking every single time we lose. Why is that Kerr have so much aura? Like, that is a lot of aura. <laughs> she can jump. Ah, uh, they got me. I thought I jumped, but I guess I didn't press it quick enough. Alright, they tried to jump there. Yeah, I think I think during the actual rights, the AI is actually a higher like it, it's it's they have better reaction times and stuff. Which means, like, if we put on that one frickin' uh, Titan Star, which we're gonna have to at the final one, because we need every single one on, you're gonna get obliterated. You're gonna straight up not have a good time. Does your recruitment remain on the mountain top against the giant again? Slayer Rights is ending. Most deserves freedom. Can there be any hope for your revolutionary plan to change the Commonwealth if two few exiles manage to return? My exiles vow to stick together. Many moons pass. There's a room to stop. The disciplinary trap is. Alright, is this when you join us? Renira Vastekas. Renan looks on us. 
All right, Fulfred is now joining the rites. And we have all of our party members possible available at this point because it could not get anybody out of here. Reader, my boy. The only problem is, like, Dalbert is the only guy I actually wanted to get the hell out of here. Hey, Barker, how did that go? We'll bring Rupee along this time, and actually have him talk with him. I do so hate to thusly contact you, O oh Reader. Hi. Yet an awful rumor reached me recently. That you have within your retinue a traitor. To the Nightwings and the Commonwealth at like. But you would never harbor such a traitor now, would you? I trust your time within the downside would have taught you that. I mean, we're literally exiled for one reason or another, so you can just screw off. I'm not sure if we hit Sir Deluge's uh, thing before. Something of value, you say? Sure, why not? Search for valuables. You and Rookie Sir. So spend much of the day searching through the dusty weights of Lixan to find something of value. So it would seem, at least, neither you nor Rookie can tell exactly what it is, for the object lies beyond your grasp. You consider methods to retrieve it. Hmm. Do we go for it or do we leave it be? We'll go for it. Oh, it's fungus. Okay. Hey, Rookie. Rookie is counting the group supply of soul when he sees you approach. He rushes right up to you as per his custom. Hey, chum. I was just seeing what we could pick up from the slug market next chance we get. Then run some numbers here and buy my cow and meet old Falk and Ron Richard by 866 soul so far, if you can believe that. Sometimes I think he's fleecing us for all he's for all we're worth, you know? But I figure we got a decent arrangement going. Boarding still ain't gonna do us any good down here. Ron's merchandise can help us get ahead. Those talismans are weird, right? But they seem to work. Specifically if you keep, keep some of that stardust stuff onto him, right? Say, uh, you don't think it's cheating using that stuff, do you, Chump? He does not give you the opportunity to answer. So anyways, that Ron and I, we go way back, all right? Like, you don't even know. He and I, why well, tell we knew each other back even back before I ended up down here, he was one of my importers, so to speak. Yeah, he and I, we had a good thing going for a while, sent all sorts of junk down over to him. And back in the Commonwealth, the soul was still worth some, some folk. One day, of course, the jig was up for me, you understand. So imagine his surprise when he ran into him, right here on some on his home turf. We make an effort to imagine Falcon and Ron's surprise. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, fine, so Ron didn't shed no tears about me getting thrown down. When I first met him face to face, he just says, Oh, hey, Mr. Greentail, like he's expecting me or something. Though he did some, seem pretty miffed at losing me as a supplier. But he got me as a customer. Believe you me, his prices would be ten times worse than that for Rookie Greentail's premier loyalty discount taken up that. Just whatever you do, don't go asking questions about him. Believe you me, the less we know about our good chump Falk and Ron, the better. Anyways, I'm off to chase my tail for a bit, so be seen around, chump. I want to know more about Falk and Ron now. You have opened up the Pandora's box. Alright, Karen of Hope. 
Lion comes to a sun top. Oh, oh yeah, it's freaking Oralac. <laughs> Right. Oh no, it's uh. Okay. On <laughs> The thought of having to travel with Falcon Rock fills you with a nameless dread. Let's go. Let's ditch him this time. Valkyron seems not to be in any real danger. You express your regrets while explaining to him that there simply is no available room in the Black Weapon at this time. Uh, uh, okay guys, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do and stuff, so I guess. Dad and I will be seeing you around okay as for the stingers I picked up. Now, don't you be surprised if you're all out of stock next time you visit me, okay? Because I can't hold them in reserve for you. They're way too popular right now. He waves you away. Oh, come on, Dad, put your back into it already. We ain't got that far. At least one of your fellow exiles breathes a sigh of relief as you prepare to set forth again. I guess the Oralek encounter is sometime later. Now, I wonder if he's. if, like, they remove the, uh. Oh. When you arrive at the Cairn of Hoob, you observe the slug market is nowhere to be found. Once it seems you have arrived at your destination sooner than Falcon Ron. So there's just no slug market. Cool. As the sky grows dark up the, over the Cairn of Haub, a hush falls over your companions, especially Rookie. Hmm. You sense something's troubling him. Something to do with your next adversaries. <laughs> oh, hey chum, I just wanted to let you know I'm pumped and ready to take on the dissonance this time. Sure am, alright? That's Barker. He's not so scary once you get to know him like I do, you know? <laughs> so, don't you worry, because I won't be going easy on him after last time. <sighs> As Rookie marches off toward the clearing, you notice his grin fade away. In the distance, you hear the dissidents begin to hout and howl, and the Katarif begins. Six stars must be active now. Doesn't happen too often. Reader, or should I say, deceiver? Ah, shut up. For I detect another exile in your ranks. The exile Volfred Sandalwood himself, that cursed sap. I ought to have known he was behind all this. He has no love for our sacred tradition. Yet you would heed his poisoned words over mine own? I thought that we were friends. Then fine. Let us return to a more formal distance. We've, we've always been formal, my dude. Boy, mates, look at look what we have here. Green tail, is that you? Um, yeah, Barker, it's me, all right. Well, I'll be. So tell me something, Greetail. You gonna go against me this time, or keep on being a sticky coward like before, huh? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Wait, wait. He says he wants to fight? If you can beat him, if you can beat him, maybe. Maybe he'll leave us alone. He'll leave the Greentails alone. I can make it worth his while. Um, Barker. What is it, mate? The right's about to start. Well, I was just thinking. I know I owe you and everything, but I've got a deal for you. You like a good deal, don't you? Ah. I like a good last more like it, but I'll fight Greentail. What's your fancy here? I was thinking if I can beat you here, we're squared away. You let me off the hook. Huh. I see, I see. But tell me something, mate. Why now why in the stinking world would I want to do a thing like that? What's in it for me when I beat you instead? Then I'll pay you double what I owe. I promise. But you have to promise too. Hers out. Oi, really now? Double or nothing then, is it, eh? You drive a hard bargain there, mate. But all right, it's a deal. You beat me and my pack right here, right now, and you're debt-free as far as I'm concerned. Of course, if you don't, I'll be fleecing you for all you're worth. You, your stupid uncles, and that dear old mum of yours. See you shortly, then. Rookie then turns to you. Hey, so this one means a lot to me, you understand there, chum? Let me go against these guys, and I'll make sure we show them up, okay? He says he wants to go. Also, we have to get Fulford's tutorial out of the way. 
And there he is at last, alive and well. I know that you can hear me, Sandalwood. You're causing quite a stir out in the Commonwealth. You plant your little seed of discontent. Know that your designs and sowing chaos shall not be tolerated here. I have no idea how to utilize Volfred. Choose now your band of traitors. Tizo. We'll try this. I feel like Jodario could be good just because just for the sheer aura size. Jodario. Very well. You can do this. We can do this. You can't do this. Alright, that great too. Bring it on. Or a duo mums, who's gonna pay? First start. Such a display. What's the matter, Green Two? He thinks he's even a little nervous on your paw top. Just shut up already, Barker. Let's get on with it. What's that you say, huh? You think you can talk back to me like that, Green Tail? You heard me, Barker. Stay out of my damn way. Or what, mate? Or I'll sink these little nervous teeth into your neck, old chum. That foolish Barker was a menace to the Commonwealth and is a blight upon the rights. Fuck. She's got the money too. It seems the night wings are a bit ahead. I almost pity what transpires there. Nothing I can do. The night wings seem to be falling behind. The night wing shall prevail at this rate. What? I didn't even see that somebody died. How did that even happen? Perhaps you are unworthy. All right. With considerable precision. Tizo can get one more. This is the path to glory. Oh. Somehow we succeeded. The night wings prevail <laughs> again. May their next uh, adversaries fare a little better. Them just playing the ranged game sucks. The ceremony is complete. Woo! We did it! We got them! <laughs> ah, green tail. You got us fair and square, mate. Fair and square is the stuff gets, right? Um, so my family, you you'll leave us alone. He said to leave them alone. He's off there, Green Tail. Deal's a deal. Now that me and my pack better step it up for when we see you and your mates again. I'll be looking forward. Rookie watches him depart. He then turns to you as his expression softens. Don't tell 
Don't know what to tell you, chum, other than, that, other than I really owe you one. The eight scribes bless us with their ways. Jodariel yeah, yeah. walks further down the path, but to what end? Okay. I don't know if we want to go for this. We may, we may just have to go for these two. Get get our additional pyre. Gives us a little bit of a buffer. Because uh, we might need it. But still, Izo is too good. Until the stars align. Shame we can't prevent him from uh, not being banished for the next round with his super speed. Salas Rotaran. I mean, they're capable of hands these days, my boy. I wish. All right. The stars go somewhere else. And three choices in front of us. He beat the chastity down. That seems like a fun time to me. Oh, we got a dialogue. Rookie. Rookie, you sense none of his usual anxious energy. Three. He then rushes up to you, a return to form. I mean, I know I'm not, I'm not stuck. I'm stuck down here with the rest of you. It's just, it's like I finally got to set aside this giant bag of rocks I've been carrying around. Know what I mean? I want to say thanks, chump, for giving me a hand with the little situation between myself and Barker. I don't think I would have had it in me to stand up to him unless I knew you and the others had my back. Now, at least old Mama Greentail won't get any trouble from him on the other side. He's still waiting for a rookie boy to come on home, but at least you won't be getting hassled by a bunch of nasty curs just because they struck a lousy deal. <laughs> yeah, chum. You ever need something, I owe you one and then some. Curs out. He prances out of the wagon, but do found lightness in his staff. He gained plus two hope permanently. Cool. <laughs> All right, keep going. Got shit to do. This game is fun, but I think at this point, because of how badly we are losing, it is beginning to outlive its welcome. Locations, locations, a rare fish locations. We need to raise people's levels. Explore Underking Pass. Meet up with Sir Gilman who suggested you go ra ranging with him in through Underking Pass. This night shall escort you, good master reader. Together you set out to explore the boundless waters around the back wagon. You find little to speak of other than other than desolation typical of the downside. Alas, that no adventure sought us out this day. You and Sir Gilman make your way back to the wagon. Though uneventful, your search helped ease the burden weighing on you and leaves you a time to pursue your vocations. Dialogue. Hey, Gilman. Gilman is suing with anger over something so much that you are hesitant to approach him, but you approach him anyway. Oh, it's this one. Calm down. He assumed as much of a commanding tone with him as you can muster and request an explanation for his fit of indoor shouting. <laughs> Let's get the horrors past. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is like... 
his, his, his backstory or whatever, right? Why he got banished with Sir Deluge. Alright, who are we teaching today? What does he get for the next level? So he gets that. We'll, we'll, we'll answer him. It gives him this basically as a passive, which is nice. You know, with all this rice possessed, there has been this one real fancy move I've been mulling for a while, and I think I finally got how I pulled it off. There we go. Uh, I think I get it. Just don't test me out in the morning, chum. Rookie also sits on the box in the uh, profile picture. Alright, the whole Kavora is where we fight Manly. The messenger of tracks you down in the sprawling waters of the Sea of Souls to bring you news and rumors coming from or from the other side. This reports this this report subject is Tamatha, blood sister of Tamatha, and stoic leader of the Essence. Was liberated the fall she was liberated the fall of Suliam, her transgressions all forgiven upon her return. And yet, old enmities remained. In spite of Commonwealth tradition, or because of them, and with the founder self held up in many rounds of questioning, each less informal than the last. All concerned the movements of her sisters in the Highwing Remnants. Refusing to cooperate, Tamatha demanded safe passage to her native lands, yet remains de detained. She holds that her own blood sister must have thwarted her once more. Meanwhile, the Essence are refusing to conduct the rites with any other race, and have not found a suitable replacement. You suspect you shall not face them in the rites again. As you finish reciting the imp's message, you take notice of Pamatha's reaction. I'm worse than dead to her by now, I think. Nonetheless, I'm grateful she's returned, and I'll try to hold out hope that she'll be the wiser for it. You thank the messenger imp for delivering its news, and let it make good use of some of the Black Wagon's facilities, before watching it as it flutters off toward the horizon. Yeah. No one's there. Oh, it's you guys. You know, I already forgot about how you left me and Dad back there in the middle of nowhere when you really needed help because we made it back eventually. So good to see you guys again, especially if you go ahead and buy something from me. Fungus. Oh. Now, if I buy all of these, can I basically give all of my units plus four to all of those stats in the final rate of the game? This could be a fun investment for the final, final fight. That's how you get her a peak customer to add. Give him a deal. Yeah. Never says it'd be a chastity then. If you're going to start it as shine. Uh, they are shenanigans with uh, Manly and the dang sap that he spawns. Look forth, you exiles of the night. Pretty sure Brutru did a number on them before. You are returned once more unto the Hulk of Ores. Your adversaries in the coming right shall be the chastity. Extinguish now their pyre. And glory shall be yours. Now prepare yourselves. Oh, it's the ship one. Oh, look at this here. Perhaps intent of humiliating us even more after last time. I'll be know that we have some new tricks up our sleeve this time. The chastity. Ugh. 
Choose quickly your triumvirate. Shut up. What does he have? I want to try his new, uh, his new stuff out. So he will be our leader. And I also want to see if Headwind can do stuff. I don't know if this is going to do anything. Headwind. And last slot we dedicate the Tizo because Tizo is all reliable. Tizo, it has done. What a time I'm trying to stay. All right, let's see what we can do. What? That was weird. I think my controller is losing, losing power. I think that's what happened. Oh, so close. There it is. Oh, I didn't fling the orb. Shit. Oh, damn it. Alas. What the fuck happened there? I'm always so confused when weird shit like that happens. Uh, what the fuck happened there? happening with that like holy shit it is ruining everything shame that fucking jump somebody get the orb Seriously, what is the freaking, uh, the jump pad? It's so f ridiculously far that I can't actually properly counterplay against it. Jizo with super long range tosses. I guess I'll work with that since it seems effective. Quite effective. The night wings prevail. I will have to uh, consider that more often. Though, if you ask me. 
Kizo just the carries in the game. Is Kizo is too good. They made him so good because he he needs something to compensate for the fact that he can't cast his aura out. He literally kills himself with an explosion. Yeah. Kizo seems to be the one thing that I'd have to keep bringing along. The only issue is it's almost certainly going to force me to not be able to use him when it matters most. The banishment sickness. Yeah. It's already time, as he says. Alright, we get another chance. Can we actually fucking get one? It's Dalbert this time. I The one guy that I said if I had if I uh was going to lose any one, I would lose to him Sada deliberately. Sada. But uh because of how badly things are going. Yeah. I think he said something important. I should probably, like, somewhat read the dialogue, like, actually now. Hey, my friend. Come join Jodarami. We were just doing nothing. Not exactly accurate, Hedwin. He produces a bottle of of some sort from her cloak. I can't believe you got a hold of that, Jody. I have my ways. Oh, I know, but still. Dario opens the bottle and pours several glasses. Well then, what shall we toast to? Right now, I've got no idea. <laughs> to drinking. You raise a toast to the tradition in which you now partake. For it is in these seldom precious moments when one can live in the present without concern for the past or fear for the future. It is valuable to simply be from time to time, and such a time presents itself right now within the bottle that within the bottle procured by Jodariel. Damn right, my friend. I'll drink to that. And so they do. A bit of revelry is all too brief, but afterward. You feel as though a burden has been lifted from your shoulders for the time. I'm gonna save the rest for later then. Good evening to you both. You both, you go your separate ways for now. For now. All right. Journey continues. We have a, we have places to go. Jodario gain favor. Bulford gain favor? Sure, why not? Ligaratus. Uh huh. Memsaro distara. Paritoros. Even after losing, our clan is still listed at 40% somehow. <laughs> Plus one quickness, but he sucks. Still, know why we would use, why we would even consider using him. Let's see. Rookie can double jump, you say? That seems important to get. Like, very important. We'll try to get this natural superiority. It might be useful. Just the extra speed and stuff for her. Plan on using her.
Even I shouldn't have made a promise that I couldn't keep. I know that now, please, just please don't make me break that promise. Promise. We got plus two presents. Here we are again. Ready to lose. <laughs> Let us in. We have shit to do. Who dares to speak? Hey, Volfred. Where are we at the rights once, once more? Okay. Okay, we're getting the backstory. I'm good. Yeah, there's something we need. Alright. Uh, another chance. And then we're gonna have to activate another one of these stars. Ugh. I do not like that. It's already getting too difficult as it is. Once more, the Nightwings gain the summit of the sacred Mount Aladiel to conduct the Liberation Rite. Even as the stars themselves abandon you, make good upon these final opportunities, Rita. This glorious age-old tradition coming to an end upon your watch. I trust the fate your adversaries shall not throw away this chance. Choose now who may go free, should they unfortunately fail. All right. Small auras, but I'm surely they have shenanigans. Whom do you intend to liberate? Of course, Tizo is still uh, selected. So if, if if I had to choose anybody, I would end up choose I would end up choosing Jodariel from this list. And I have been chosen. Who shall stand with her? Tizo. I am going to try to win. Now let's see if we can do it.
Spirits now will noble you a They're banished now, they will not soon return. So basically, minus hope. And now we just need one more. We finally got one. Finally got one. And Jodario is the first person out of here. As for their adversaries, they did not. Jodario was a good banisher. But she wouldn't be good in the final in the final right because of uh because Orlek has literal max presence. So she's pretty much useless in that in that match. At least as a uh as how we use her offensively. Her adversary and all others shall remain to carry out their rightful sentences. So now Jodariel and uh what's his name for the Tempers can uh hang out at the bar together. All this time, she did to get to the lizard. She got the seal to come. Okay. The Dariel earned back her freedom, so we finally got somebody. The eight scribes are watching from afar. By their grace, may the cycle. Yes, I didn't want to get rid of Ruki, and I didn't want to get rid of Tizo, so she was really the only choice there. did pretty good. Her tosses were, uh, May the important. Have mercy on us all. Yeah, he was the one person I wanted to actually go free, and he's the first time, <laughs> and it's the first time we actually win in the liberation, right? Funny how that works. And the wagon up and prevailed against the fate. But then we make good of all such incidents. Succeeding in liberating Jodariel. We have yeah, but a few such liberation rights remaining. Exactly how many? You don't wish to speculate. Yeah. Plan. 49%. That backs like fear. Tells off. And when the other exchange looks for you to understand, the rights ending. Yeah. Searching for the right words. Got the reason it's straight before, before you all. The true freedom is not waiting for you in the Commonwealth. Meanwhile, the stars are shining on you. All of what transpired cannot be mere chance. You all know the divine duty to uphold. I'm using just everything default. You stand poised to ensure the world you leave behind for your loved ones, for each other, is a world worth living in. If you believe any of this, then believe above all in each other. Believe that the plan may yet be achieved. A brief period of reflection? Be sure one less out of the group. Let us stand together now and always, then you join the others in silence. Damn right, my friend. You stood together time after time, and I'll be right there with you till the end, no matter where we end up. This is the only chance we got, isn't it, chum? Just like you're saying there, I guess we gotta go for it. And seeing that, I've seen his. His stars remain a light. Yeah. Marum Domirensas. For the night wings. Night wings get plus one hope permanently. And we got a bunch of stars. Oh, now that I think about it, a bunch of stars showed up, and it's not from, uh. We didn't have to wait. Could beat up Barker again. Him. Or I could I could I could say hi to uh to Dalbert again. Or we'll say hi to Dalbert again. We 
never got their backstory, huh? Hmm. Hey, Edwin. Hmm. Find Henwin on his own after Jodario's liberation. Sense straight away what's on his mind. The two of them were close through much of his life. He looks up at you, but his familiar smiles nowhere to be found. Sorry, my friend. Should be in a much, much better mood right now. It's just... I can't believe she's gone. Then, he shakes his head. Listen to me. I'm talking like she's... He falls silent again. You could tell he needs some time to himself right now and turn to leave. Wait, hold on. Don't leave me here just yet. First of all, my friend, thank you. I don't like to think of it in quite these terms, but... Out of all of us, I really hope she managed to get out of here. You've been here the longest. Not to mention, I'd probably be dead ten times over by now if not for her. What's more, maybe more than Bulford himself, I have a feeling she's really going to make an impact on this plan of ours back on the other side. Just the same though, I am going to miss her. You and Henwin share some memories of Jodariel for a time, though it grows clear to you that he needs some time alone. Thanks again, friend. I hope that one day all of us can meet again. Jody, she'd be happy on that day, I bet. Very late now. We part ways after bidding each other a good evening. A good evening. We continue. No time now to turn to Moonlight Alcove. Stars want us to go this way. The stars want us to release more people. Sup, how's it going? And it's all it's just been lonely night after lonely night since I've been playing this game. Nobody cares to drop by. What can you do? We we'll don't wanna watch if they uh don't wanna watch. Valuable. Valuables are important. The. Oh. Uh. Floor Hollow Roof? Can you decide to take a look? Hey, a chum, I can use a walk myself if you know what I mean. Seems to be nothing particularly in the vicinity, but then Luki raises his voice. Well, wait, hold up, what's that? The object in question is lodged deep in the ground and bears mark of the rights. He said that maybe it'll secure its contents, but the mystic, mystic wards will not be easy to undo. Attempt to open it. You focus all your mental faculties on the mystic wards, sealing the box's contents. Soon you're left exhausted, but the lit, box's lid unfastens. Inside it is a talisman placed there, perhaps by one of your predecessors, in the rites from ages past. Star Splinter. By preparing to fling the orb, the bear's charge of speed increases 40%. Not the most useful, but... It's not really my playstyle, although I probably, although looking at how things are going, it's probably going to turn out that way. <laughs> Using like Tizo to dash up and yeet it into the pyre. Well, everyone, I figured please forgive my rudeness here. What's he doing? Was this the Orlek one? Yeah, I, I, I recognize the acoustic guitar. We'll push forward this time. There's no need to give in to Orlek's threats. He can declare his intentions or get out of the way. He cannot stand against you at all. Very well, let's press forward then. He signaled the drivers to start the wagon and move full speed ahead. But just as he reached the point where Orlek once stood, Seems our guest has already departed. Let's remain watchful as we proceed on course. Of co indeed, Orlok is nowhere to be found now. The unnerving encounter causes everyone to fall silent for the remainder of the trip. Fine with me. And Orlok is- oh yeah. I, for I, I forgot about this. He shows up. She'll say hi. What's up? 
all these trinkets. Go lie to them? Whatever he seems to be driving at, you can think of no compelling reason to comply. You hold Orlick's gaze as best you can, but remain silent. Thus, does this question fall into the past unanswered? An idiot, perhaps, no matter. I doubt, however, that the night ones would have taken you for sympathy alone. Relay them to a message for me, Shadow. Tell them I shall have my night. Yeah. He says it again for dramatic effect. So He doesn't care. He never cares. And we'll go in here. Hey, how's it going? Want this down berry? Yeah, you do. You love those down berries. Those might be worth getting, if I can't afford it, reasonably. Commence the right. Now he's commenced the right. No, he's gave a hang with my stranger usual. Maybe he's here, I mean, somewhere nearby. She knows he's at Maybe my friend is here, so I'm going to say hi before we have to do the ceremony at the Star Ball. Is that, that's him, my friend, he's here. The send your adversary is the fate on the other side of the Ridge of Gold to begin making necessary preparations. He rushes over to them before anyone can stop her, even as the stars above shine through the darkness. We need seven stars now. I guess right now the best one is probably the buff uh, limbless Erzak. Ah, the infamous reader returns. I will always be here. Along with his remaining retinue of miscreants. You managed recently to rid yourself of yet another one. You say that like we actually Your got somebody. The fate. Like this this is literally our first As success. You, they must be very desperate so freedom. that dialogue was made with the assumption that we actually succeeded in more than one here. right. So they actually didn't consider for what we just did. Losing like three in a row and then finally getting one. Oh god, hello. I feel like there should be special dialogue for this right here, where we just beat them and now we're fighting them again. <laughs> He's about your age. I don't think we saw that dialogue before. I like how his enlightenment actually doesn't take it all the way to the top. It's interesting. Hmm. I think we should try using him. Like, he will be our big aura guy, essentially. As for the person in the lead. Sir Gilman. You need some EXP, right? Then we either bring Tizo again or we bring Bertrude. 
Pizza is like the universal safe choice. Tizo. With that out of the way. All right, can we do this, Sir Gilman? Oh, now begin the path to glory. That's a start. Come on, the orb has hit the mark. <laughs> Alrighty then. Do you believe you can prevail in this? The better blood. I missed what happened. I lost track of the orb. That's what screwed me over there. This is the road to ruin. I just, I just heard the fucking like cartoon spring sound. Oh, a clever girl. What happened there? So you got it. Plunges into the I worm my way through that. My poor armor, you did nothing to deserve this. If the family's courage and the family's grace, but I like the family's strength. The orb is up. Yeah, Dalbert's like the only one who deserves to go free. Out of like the enemy groups. Well, that comes out in our favor because they have one less person now. And it is dark. The night wings prevail. Yay. Mayhap the scribe shall simply smite them down next time. Yeah, probably like this the rate that we're going, we probably only have like the right one more stream complete. before we can actually do this. So primeros. Aremta father. Would you be my friend? Bask now in the wisdom of the scribes. Yep. Izo is gonna max out first. Because we're just gonna be dragging them along. It always it was a little piece. slow to pick things up. Hmm. Hmm. Thinking about it, this is actually a detriment because it forces the enemies to lob the orb into the fire. So they won't actually eliminate themselves for the, the bonuses. Go with this for it now. Is the wisdom of old hundred miles. I eagerly await our next such outing. A good day. It's plain to you that none of them look well. Elemental knows he's there and turns to you. Peter, faster, the faster turning of the cycle of the rites has put a strain on everyone. We have multiple cases of banishment sickness this time. 
It's fortunate that your other companions are available to conduct the coming rite, because I fear this group of you requires rest. Yep. Uh-huh. So, no Tizo, sadly. I remember last time it actually showed all three. But because we only had five people left, I think, at this point, they were forced to give us Volfrid, I think. Despite him supposedly needing banishment sickness here. At least it's not the, uh... The final one. We received news that one of Volfred's agents in the Commonwealth was taken captive. A setback to the plan, but it changes nothing for us, I suppose. Hmm. I don't like facing Barker after... Why, why can we face them again? Fuck it. <laughs> we just beat them into the ground. This is so stupid. Why can you just do that over and over again? This is the third time we're facing them in a row. He seems very happy about something. Tells her inspection, however, she's to be engaged in conversation with the wall. Oh yeah, right? And so, after the ride, he said to me, I think he said to me, farewell. Can you believe it, little brother? He said that, then he left. We go find Mr. Dalbar, who went on ahead. And so I think maybe we're friends now, because we think so too. We have a lot in common, don't we? Friends are supposed to have a lot in common, right? For instance, we're both fighting to, for those we care about. So on. Hey, I'm just going to skim over it. Ah, Lutista. Hi. Plus one hope permanently. Cool. Anyway. Let's go see them again. Almost there. Okay. Wolfred wants to take that route. I don't know if that this current to the Isle of Kilmer is teeming with fish. Sure. Fish for denizens of the deep. With your remaining time of this day, you set your mind to the ancient art of fishing as you drift among the steady currents of Barb Reef. You still have nothing to show for your efforts today, however, when Pamitha approaches to check in on you. Not fine today, are they? Stupid things. Just then, your lures ring. Moments later, one of the slippery denizens is in your grasp. You thank Pamitha for her contribution. Got Umberfin. Reader 1, Fish 0. <laughs> nice. Pamitha is staring out the window as you approach. I miss flying, Reader Darling. Take it from me, it feels as good as you'd expect. Ah, okay. A little of your kind. It's like, this is the, uh... The, the harps backstory thing. Not important. You already read it. Oh my fucking god, Andrabaris. Nothing but a mindless farmhand. Your every action is a stain upon the legacy of the eight scribes. The rights have been a long-held secret. Is he slowly Without zooming in? Those such as you. I couldn't tell. I was trying to put my finger up to the monitor to see if it was slowly zooming in. <laughs> I couldn't tell. It felt like it was slow zooming. What? Oh. Here in the rookie wars, the Deathless Embassy you encounter a messenger. Come to deliver news and rumors from the other side. The news this time pertains to Jodariel, whom you liberated in the fall of Soliam. Soliam. You learn Jodariel's Patrick Grim is forgiven. Soon you're saying the blood border. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, wait. There's nothing she can't handle. 
I miss her bad sometimes, but I'm glad she's all right. She's inspired up about news of Jadar's return. An inspiration to us all, after this night, she is at least. Bring some of Jadaria's will and start her with us on the other side will pave the way toward a brighter future. In the vision it, the demon should she set loose within the Commonwealth. <laughs> Wonder what the message message said. You think she still has her horns now that she's back up there? You give it to him for us, Jody. I knew you had it in you. The news of Jadariel's liberation fills you and your fellow exiles with newfound resolve. This is the first time we finally got a good message. I guess technically Tamitha being uh, put into into jail was a positive outcome. Hey there, guys. Yeah. Hello. Fish. Now, what was it that I wanted to get? Um. That could actually be useful now that I think about it. I know there was something that I wanted. I know Bright Bright Wisp is useful in getting it to max level too. I think it was leveling up like the star splinter that we currently have is something we may have wanted to do. I know there was something, but I cannot remember what it was. Upgrade this thing is the question. I do not know. I should probably unequip these just in case it won't let me do it later. I've got no music anymore, just the sounds of wind. Oh, that resets it. Interesting. Small bug, but okay. then throw it into this. Alright, so like the charger speed is basically doubled now. So if they can like get up there, they can just lob it in. You could attempt to see if this works. Where's Gay? She arrives on cue. Well, hi, Almer. Hello. Father asked me to loot you in the Nightwing, so here I am then. Consider yourself saluted. Oh, okay. And um, may the scribes watch over you and Mr. Oldheart. They shall, no, they shall do no such thing. Know that I am only doing this to ease Father's worries such as I can. When night falls, you are all my adversaries, nothing more. He walks away even as dark, the darkness grows and the stars begin to shine. Seven stars active. Rita, I am 
still very cross with you, you know. Oh, boo-hoo. To think I saw in you a worthy heir. Not just to the legacy of the Nightwings, but to the future of the Commonwealth. That traitor Volfred. Only a fool would be seduced by his audacious promises. I'm ready to play some sports ball. Ideas. That, dear reader, would make you a fool. Take us to the... I have no choice but to explain Take us to thus, the basketball field. So even you could understand. Now for this blasted right. Some of us still have our duties to uphold. Hey, once again on Night Wings. My son, Alra tells you you have treated most graciously, but I am grateful. Father, I said no such thing. But we all know each other well now. I suggest that we dispense with further interactions for the time. Because now that our hearts take sway when we are here to honor the scribes. Okay, this is intently to all this, then. Oh, you are right, Mr. Althart. I never thought of it that way, but you're right. Almer, when all this is over, someday not too long from now, and the scribes are satisfied that we have served them well, then will you be my friend? I don't know. Okay, I know you mean that, too. Until then, may the scribes protect us all. May the scribes protect us all. Who shall it be this time? Fast. We don't have a good aura, so that imp is going to blitz us. actually equip the thingy. I got it somehow. They fucked it up. Money to me. Best not get overconfident, night wings. That cur of yours is banished. Gotta go fast. <laughs> that is actually pretty good. Surprisingly well. Alas, that their adversaries failed to stop them. That uh, that imp did not blitz us as hard as it should have, though. The right is ended. There See you guys. Give it a good, give it a good try. Just needed some easy wins. <laughs> Wasn't the uh, are we setting somebody else free this time? Looks like we're gonna have to end it soon. It's 1223. 
Because one of the banishers sickness seem to be doing better and express gratitude to Rookie, Pamela, and Bertrand for their efforts. One shines defiant, the path to freedom shows itself once more. <clears throat> Shall we go? Let's see. A chance at liberty presents itself again. I do not yet know whom to choose this time. The group is so accommodating, yet I know they look to me to make the best decision for us all. Oh god, we're facing him. Uh, he's a pain in the ass normally. How is he going to do it now? Pelantas ass. Well, so we're all then. Yeah. I do not have fun going against Barker. You thought Ruki was trying to get your attention, but soon realized that the attention is fixated on something else. Might I assist you with something there, Mr. Greentail? Rookie has not struck, struck, struck you as a sort to ever be at a loss for words, and yet... Um, uh, no, I'm uh, just trying to see if maybe... I don't think it's a laugh, not an unkind way. And he's Rookie, darling. You should know I have no immediate plans to snatch you up and eat you for a snack, if that's your concern. Um, no, it's just, I mean, it's just a, uh... What is it then, hmm? Look, um, I've got this really stupid question here. It's been bugging me as all. Well. It's just, we curs don't have any running with you folks, and so... What is your really stupid question, Rookie Darling? Okay, 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 here it goes, here it goes. Um, how come? How come? How come you always wear that hat? Tabitha remains silent for a time. Then... This helm was given to me by my blood sister on the night of my first kill. Slowly, she reaches for the helm. She's got helmet hair. Rookie Greentail, this helm, it means nothing to me now. I want you to keep it. But what? Then, Tamitha begins to laugh again. Come on, Rookie darling. You have to stop being so serious around me all the time. I don't bite. Besides, you seem to make a de decent enough team out there, I think. You're pretty quick. Rookie laughs rather sheepishly. All right, all right. You got me pretty good there, sister. So, uh, that stuff you said about that hat, then. Total nonsense, mostly. I just happen to like it. So, you're saying I can't keep it? If I get out of here before you, Mr. Greentail, it's all yours. So she leaves first. It's a deal. He skitters off before Pamela can respond. He simply shrugs at you and smiles. <laughs> they tricked her. Or tricked him. We'll see if she still has it on in a second. For now, let's just make our way up to the site of the next thing. Oh. Some weather we've been having lately. It's like all the downsides been getting ready for the right stand. Looks like we can make a landing closer to Scribe's Gate this time. I guess I'll take it as good news. This time we have to spend climbing up the mountain. More chance left the rest for the right itself. I'll go tell everyone to get ready to land. Once more, sit. Scribe's favor. Yeah, he gets glory. I could get somebody some lessons. You go and learn today. Let's see, what will he get if he gets one more? Just a uh, better implosion. I don't think that's super useful. For Gilman. Doesn't he get a double jump if he hits max, actually? Yeah, he gets a cloud jump. He can jump twice, which can be very useful. Can be very useful indeed. Tamitha can fly faster than usual. We're gonna get that. If she flies faster... She already flies pretty quickly. So that might be just very useful in general. Then also this. Hmm. 
Hold X to fly during a right. I thought you had to tap it. I didn't realize you could just hold it. That's why I did the uh, quick flap thing. <laughs> it might, it'll make it a little bit easier to control, I guess. I don't know what's better. I'm just going to take this. Presence is useful. And we'll, we'll, we'll likely utilize her in the next right, too. Go to Scribe's Gate. And once again, we'll just get through all this. And there's nothing we need from our buddy, uh, Falcon Ron. So with that, I will sign off for the night. But, uh... Yeah, if we, if we can get another decent stream like this, we'll only need to do one more. We might actually be able to play Trails Through Daybreak on release. In fact, we are going to play Trails Through Daybreak on release. If I beat this in, uh, on, like, Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll just hold off doing another stream until Friday. Either way, we're going to be getting it done. So, until next time. Have a good night.